Good foot care is essential for patients living with diabetes. It could significantly reduce or even prevent the risk of complications, including avoidable amputations. The most useful test is the foot care examination. It helps prevent and manage complications and is the perfect opportunity to educate your patients on why foot care is so important. There are three stages to the foot care test. Ask, look and feel. The first is asking your patients a series of questions, such as, how often do you check your feet? Have you had a foot problem before? Once you've talked through these initial questions with your patient and answered any questions or concerns they have, move on to the look section. Start by looking out for any unusual skin color or reduced hair growth. This can indicate poor circulation. Swelling and inflammation may indicate an infection, while broken skin, including wounds or cracks, can increase the risk of infections and lead to ulceration. If you spot bruising and signs of rubbing from shoes, your patient may be wearing ill-fitting footwear. Check for deformities, hard skin and calluses, as these can often be hiding unknown wounds or ulcers. And finally, check for fungal infections. Once you've noted your observations, move on to the feel section of the examination. Using two fingers, palpate the marked areas on the foot, the posterior tibial and the dorsalis pedis. It can take a bit of time to feel them. If you can palpate either pulses on each foot and the skin is well perfused and warm, the foot has good blood flow and no further action needs to be taken. If the pulses are not palpable, consider referring on to a specialist for further investigation or escalate to a senior member of staff. To test the sensation in the feet, you'll use a 10 gram monofilament and apply it to specific areas on the toes and feet. Where possible, this examination should take place in a quiet and relaxed setting so the patient can focus on what they can feel. Best practice is to lay your patient flat but if your patient has mobility issues, you can sit them in a chair that reclines and have their feet raised slightly. Once they're comfortable, ask them to close their eyes so they are unable to see which part of the foot the monofilament is testing. Apply the monofilament perpendicular to the surface of the skin until it buckles. Be careful not to apply the monofilament to any site where a callus or ulceration is present. Record your patient's response. If the patient doesn't feel the filament at any of the sites, this can indicate significant sensory loss. There are four sites on each foot that you can test. The amount of testing sites depends on your local policy. The sole of the great toe, the sole of the middle toe, the sole of the little toe, and the sole of the first metatarsal head. Once you've completed the check, Document the risk categories of the feet according to your local process. Usually these are low, medium or high risk. These categories determine how frequently your patient will need to be checked. It is essential that nursing staff keep up to date with their knowledge around foot care and diabetes and follow local policy and process. Ultimately, saving limbs can save lives. Mm -hmm.